Yoke up, Caroline. How are you? Um, I've made peace with the fact that you are not going to talk to me. However, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to talk at you. Uh, you are welcome at any time to respond um, with real, with a real response. Um, any time. That being said, I, I, I want to respond to your statements in this particular video, um, Caroline, and I want to make sure that I'm getting it correct, that I have the sum of what you're saying so that I can then respond. Um, and what you're saying, essentially, is that there are no ex-Christians, because in order to be a Christian at one point, um, means to know God, and you can't know unknow God once you know God. You can't deny the existence of God once you have been shown God. And your example to illustrate um, this claim is that you cannot unknow God any more than you could unknow your husband. That you met God and hung out with God and so you know God and that you met Jeff and hung out with Jeff and so you know Jeff and that you could never say that you didn't know Jeff and so you can't say that you that you don't know God I want to make sure I have that correct please if that's not what you're saying um, please uh, let me know but that would mean you have to actually respond to me um, yeah so I have a couple of questions and then some, some, some statements. One, are you being metaphorical? This is very important because I want to know how to frame the tone of my future discussions because I'm going to do these videos on a regular basis um, until you either talk to me or block me and then I'll just find another way to do it. Um, because uh, here's the thing, I, I think that uh, to call yourselves ministers to say that you have a ministry is the ultimate in hypocrisy and the ultimate in lying if you cannot deal with someone like me. Now, I know I can be confrontational, and I'll acknowledge that, but I think this is a confrontational topic. I think it calls for a confrontational tone. But I want to make sure, um, are you being metaphorical when you say things like that you met God and that you talked with God and hung out with God? Um, or do you honestly believe that you have met God? Have you heard voices? Have you had visions? Because I've known people, and with all seriousness, I, I have known people who have heard voices and claim that was God. Um, not psychosis, but God. And I want to make sure um, which it is. That's very important. Um, if it's metaphorical, if you're speaking metaphorically, um, then, then you're trying to, to make a semantic argument, essentially, and if that's true, then I'm going to have a whole lot of fun because that's kind of what I do for a living. Um, I teach people how to make arguments, and, and I make arguments myself. So if that's the case, then we're going to have a whole lot of fun. If, on the other hand, you have really heard voices then I'm not sure how much, how effective this is going to be. But I will continue to respond to your videos and continue to hold out for the hope that maybe, Yoke Up and Caroline, that you all will interact with me. Because here's the thing, I think you like to interact with people that, that you don't feel threatened by. That's my theory. And until you prove me wrong, that's the theory I'm going to maintain. Because there are some people who I think are much nicer <laughs> than I am. They're way, much more pleasant. Um, Bella is absolutely uh, a genuine sweet person, and, and she's much more patient with people than I am. She has, I think, more optimism about humanity than I have. Um, and so you don't mind uh, tossing back and forth with her. However, if you really are a ministry, because when you say, you know, on your website that you directed me to that one time, as if that were gonna, as, a, as if that was gonna answer my question, um, you call it a ministry. You take on this mantle of a minister, homegrown preacher, right? 
tongues from fire falling from heaven on you, something, anything. Okay. When you claim to be a minister, when you claim to have a ministry, that means that you minister to everybody. Yoke up in Caroline. Not selective people. You can't choose the people whose intentions agree with yours and call that a ministry. Okay? Um, for example, to help make my point, an illustration. Okay, I teach in the university, in a university here, and I teach, I teach writing. So my classes have, on average, around 19 students. When I walk into my classroom every day that I teach, on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three days a week I teach, um, I have my own goals, objectives, and intentions. The things I want to get done that day, the topics I want to discuss, the methodology that I'm going to use to methodology I'm going to use to discuss those things. I have those things in mind. Um, however, each of my students also have their own goals, objectives, and inten objectives and intentions. I cannot assume that because they're walking into the space where I am the instructor that they have taken on the mantle of, of my intentions. Okay, it doesn't work that way. And, and, and ineffective teachers actually tend to think that that, you know, it's like, well, they're here because they want to learn. No. You'd think that was the case, but it's not the case. Um, you cannot refer to yourself as a ministry if the only thing you're looking for are people who will mirror back your own reflection. People who are going to echo back and say, Yoko, I believe you. You are blessed. You've been touched by God. Your wife doesn't, you know, fantasize about chicks. I believe you. No, that's not a minister, yoke up. And since you're taking this into the public sphere, like I can see if you were around in your town and you started a church, a little storefront church, and you invited people in, and people who would come in would know what to expect. And then you can, you know, as a group, vilify the world and make yourselves feel better about the inadequacies of your own life, your own lives. Um, but this is a public forum, Yoke Up and Caroline. Public forum. That means you're going to be dealing, you have to run the risk of running into people like me. Now, so if you're going to call yourself a minister, then that means you have to learn how to talk to people like me. Because I'm not just going to back down if you throw Bible verses at me. You can throw Bible verses at me all day, buddy. I've read them before you did. I've probably read them more than you have, and I've thought about them more than you have. So you've got to do better. Not that I think you're actually going to talk to me. Um, so there's that. I believe that you are a hypocrite and a liar because you are not a minister. You're a guy who's looking for people to echo back what you want to hear so that you can justify your life. So that you don't have to acknowledge that maybe a large part of your life has been a waste. Prove me wrong. And, and don't tell me that it's not your job. It is your job because you have taken on the mantle of a minister. And if you don't know what that means, then you shouldn't do it. Have a nice day. I look forward to your response.